Hey guys, I'm Abil back again with another video. This time let's compare the display and sound quality of these two devices, this Realme 10 Pro Plus and Poco X5 Pro. So in this video, we'll see that which one is doing better. So I believe that if you're thinking of buying any of these two devices, then this video is going to help you. And if it does, then do like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. So let's get started. In terms of specs, they are quite similar. This 10 Pro Plus comes with 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel, whereas this one is 6.67 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel. Both are having 120 hertz of you know refresh rate, which is actually quite uh, well optimized on both of these. Okay, but to some extent, I have found that this uh, Poco X5 Pro is better optimized okay but it doesn't mean that it is actually bad it is actually really good yeah both are really good but to some extent i found that this is uh you know it feels smoother than this one okay and uh, both of these have hdr 10 plus support yes there is a difference this one has 900 nits of peak brightness this one and this one has 800 nits of peak brightness to check it out let's go outside and we'll see that which one has better you know outdoor visibility so let's go outside so guys i'm outside now and i have turned off the auto brightness on both of this and set the maximum brightness here this is the realme 10 pro plus and this is the poco x5 pro now you can see that apparently this realme 10 pro plus appears to be brighter compared to this one although it has you know lower 800 nits of brightness compared to this 900 but i can tell you that it appears to be brighter it but it doesn't mean that this one is actually bad in terms of visibility it is actually good you can see that there is no problem of visibility on this one but yes to some extent it appears to be brighter according to me now let me give you a better idea by showing you this here you can see that uh, which one is brighter so from this web page you can see that this one is uh it, it is not that bright compared to this one you can see this okay so what do you think about it let me change the angle if there is any difference because of the angle you can see that still this one appears to be brighter than this one but th it is actually uh, good that both are actually really good when it comes to outdoor visibility but yes to some extent it appears to be brighter because it has better you know brightness compared to this one so what is your opinion let me know in the comments so when it comes to outdoor visibility realme 10 pro plus is the winner now let's play some videos to check on the video viewing experience on these two displays before that let me show you the settings that you get by default settings okay if you go to display here you have this higher refresh rate i have set it to maximum here okay and then if you check the color scheme what i have done this is the vivid recommended setting you have other settings under advanced you have these things if you want to play with the settings you can do that but to do a better comparison i'm keeping it at vivid it doesn't have any further uh, adjustments to be made okay so i have set it to vivid let me show you this again okay color scheme here vivid on this one we do get some additional things on this realme 10 pro plus let me show you this if you go to display here then screen color mode here as well i have the kept it at vivid then you have these things pro modes okay here what you can do you can select these you know modes here cinematic brilliant further if you scroll down you have this thing video hdr boost okay video color boost so whether it is going to make any difference we'll see this you know while playing the videos on these two display okay but yes you have more options on this realme 10 pro plus now let's play some videos to check on the video being experience on YouTube, we can play 4K HDR videos on both. This is the maximum setting that you get here and here as well. Okay, now let's play this video. One, two, three. Now you can see that in terms of colors, to some extent, this Realme 10 Pro appears to be more vibrant. Yeah, you can see this. And it has a bit of warmer tones. Yeah, the dark shades, dark color, they are looking almost same. Yeah, no significant difference, but yes, the color reproduction appears to be a bit boosted. Yeah, as I told you, it has that additional setting and yes, it does make a difference. Not a very significant difference, but yes, it has this. Now let's change this angle. Okay, if that is making any difference, we'll come to know that. And here you can see that still this Realme 10 Pro Plus is actually better. 
And another thing that you will see that there is a minor frame drop on this one. Okay, this Poco X5 Pro, but here it is quite smooth. It also has that uh, has that minor frame drop, but this is really negligible. But you can observe it here. Okay, so this is what I feel. The color reproduction is really good on both of these, but to some extent it has boosted colors. So if you like boosted colors, then you will enjoy watching contents on this uh, Realme 10 Pro Plus. Another problem, this is the problem. Uh, while streaming, you know, it buffers a lot. I have connected both these devices to the same, you know, Wi-Fi, but still I can tell you that uh, most of the times, you know, buffering issue is there on this Poco X5 Pro. But yes, that is not a big issue, but I have come across that. So in terms of, you know, YouTube videos, uh, the winner is again this Realme 10 Pro Plus. These come with wide vinyl one certification, so you can watch HD contents on OTT platforms like Netflix and Prime Videos. Here is one sample from Netflix. Let's play this. Okay. One, two, three. Now you can see that, uh, as I told you, this Realme 10 Pro Plus has, you know, boosted colors. So if you prefer this kind of colors, then you will love it. And if you like, you know, natural looking colors, what I prefer here, you can see that the the you know the complexion the skin tone they are looking natural but here it is boosted and i tried uh, turning off the you know boost mode on this one but still the display is on the warmer side so if you like this kind of color reproduction then you will love it otherwise this one is also really good according to me now let's play one sample from prime videos as well so here is one sample from Prime Videos and you can see that this uh, Realme 10 Pro Plus has boosted colors plus it has better detailing as well. Okay, both are actually at 1080p but I can tell you that uh, detailing is better on Realme 10 Pro, you know. Uh, so if you like boosted colors, really fine detailing then Realme 10 Pro is the display for you. But if you, you know, like to watch natural colors, not boosted or oversaturated colors, then you will love watching this one as well. So in terms of display, both are actually really good. But yes, in terms of outdoor visibility and in terms of color reproduction, uh, this one is actually, no, this one, Realme 10 Pro Plus is actually doing better. But this one is also not bad according to me. Now let's check on the sound quality. Both of these come with dual speakers, stereo setup. You get the primary um, speakers at the bottom, okay? And you get the secondary one at the top with the earpiece on both of these. Now this one, this Poco X5 Pro, it comes with Dolby Atmos. If you go to settings, then sound, then we have this sound effect. Here you get this Dolby Atmos. I have turned this on. Then preset is dynamic, the adaptive one. On this one, this Realme 10 Pro Plus, we don't get any Dolby Atmos, but they have this, I believe, proprietary technology. They call it, let me show you this. If you go to this, then real sound technology here. So you can set it to smart. So this is the same thing as we have found here, the adaptive one. Now let's play the music side by side and we'll see that which one plays better.
So guys, you let me know that which one sounded better to you. According to me, this Realme 10 Pro Plus is louder, okay, than this uh, Poco X5 Pro. But Poco X5 Pro has a really balanced sound. The bass is actually adequate. This one is a bit uh, shrilling, I would say. So it, it it sometimes sounds, you know, a bit noisy. Yeah, uh, there is no distortion, but the treble is on the higher side on this Realme 10 Pro Plus. But if you like that kind of music output, then you may like it. But uh, according to me, this is better because it has balanced treble bass and the sound output is also adequate, not that loud, okay? So according to me, in terms of sound output, this one is the winner, Pogo X5 Pro. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. So guys, I believe that after checking on the samples, you've got a good idea about the display and the sound quality of these two devices. According to me, the sound output is better from this Poco X5 Pro and the display is actually better uh, of this Realme 10 Pro Plus. Okay, now you have to choose like you have, if you want to compromise in terms of sound, then you can definitely go for this one because with this curved display, it looks better actually and it feels better in hand. And the performance is also good but if you are really um, you know concerned about the performance yeah and if you want a really optimized device then this one is a really good option because there is a difference in price as well okay this will cost you I think around 3000 less than this one so you have to choose whether you want a display a really good display and a really good design then you can spend more plus the cameras are actually looking better so i'll be comparing the cameras as well so if you want to watch that video do subscribe to my channel and i believe that my videos are actually helping you to take an informed decision and if it does then don't forget to like subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments so till the next video guys cheers